Hey guys, before you watch this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for a chance to win a special battle-ready Salazzle from the Pokemon Sun and Moon game. GameStop was kind enough to give us around 12 or 13 cards so we could give away to you guys. This video was in no way sponsored by GameStop, but they were nice enough to do this anyway, so special shout out to GameStop for being such good sports and such kind people. Just make sure to subscribe to this channel or Random Ramblings Productions and put a comment on any of the videos saying why you should win the Salazzle cards. And with that, let's get this video started. You're kidding, right? They come back for this, but they don't come back for this. Why? Don't just stand there. Get a move on. Pokemon, gotta catch them all! What's up guys, it is me and welcome back to another special video on the MeteorNet channel. Thank you guys for watching, you guys are an awesome support. And with that, let's start this video. So a lot of you have been tweeting at me about these big news that's happening in the Pokemon world. For you guys who don't know, yes, I'm a huge Pokemon fan. A lot of my videos are related to Pokemon. I'm not a Pokemon YouTuber, it's just that a lot of Pokemon news has been happening and I admit I've been focusing a lot of them, but I like everything. Kingdom Hearts, Steven Universe, Pokemon Gravity Falls, and every form of media, that is why I'm the media nut. And as a media nut and as a Pokemon fan, I feel like I need to talk to you guys and give you my personal opinions, not just because you guys are bombarding me on Twitter about it. Basically what's going on is that in the Pokemon Sun and Moon anime, Ash is going back to Kanto for a special class uh, field trip or something. He's going to be seeing a lot of old Pokemon, including Bulbasaur and some of the others, but the biggest news is the fact that we're going to be seeing two returning characters that we haven't seen in a very long time. If you're living under a rock, you may not have heard, but basically the two characters are who you would expect, Misty and Brock. Oh my god, they're back! Yes! Yes! They come home! The triumphant trio has returned! Is what I'd be saying if like... Uh, don't get me wrong, I'm excited. I actually am. I'm excited to see what this uh, return will come, what happens in the reunion, especially with the stuff that they've, you know, given hints to. It's just that, I admit, as time passed, um, how do I put this lightly? I don't like Pokemon Sun and Moon. Whoa, 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 okay, okay, everyone calm down. I don't mean the game. Okay, so some of you may or may not know the fact that I have followed the Pokemon anime for a very long time. And I mean very long time. I'm talking about from the beginning of the anime when Ash first got Pikachu all the way to where we at right now. And I know that I'm not exactly alone. I know that other Poketubers like Tyrone the God 3 or uh, Pokemon Ranger Ash feel the same way when I say I just don't like it and I'm tired of it. Not the anime itself. I mean, again, I love the anime and I followed it all my life. So I'm just basically talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Future videos will be made about the reasons uh, I don't like this, but basically it's just I just don't like Pokemon Sun and Moon. The um, I don't like the way it took the Pokemon series, the way the franchise is now. I don't like Ash in this. I love Ash in Pokemon X, Y, X, Y, and Z, but a lot of people share that opinion. I miss when Pokemon had a legit story, and I like some of the characters in Sun and Moon. I like Lily, and I guess I'm starting to grow fond of, like, Malo and Lana and Kiawe. Kukui's a kind of a chill guy, but everyone else is just, ugh, it's annoying and really, really silly, and I get it, Pokemon has silly aspects, but the, when you make an entire show all about the silly aspects, well, you get... Aw, don't tell me I missed the pee-pee dance. And we all know we don't want that again. But you guys didn't come here to hear me rant about Pokemon Sun and Moon, the anime. You guys came here for my opinions of Brock and Misty coming back. And to be straight up honest, I'm hyped. Yeah, I, I admit, I am excited. Yes, I do want to see these two characters come back. 
Just recently, we received a new trailer showing some of the stuff that they're going to be doing and the way they act, and it seems true to the Rock and Missy we know and love. My problem is, I think that now, because of the new Pokemon movie coming out and the whole controversy around it about taking Brock and Misty out, I just feel like the anime itself is going a little bit too nostalgic with this. That's just my opinion. I personally would love to see Serena come back, but a lot of people share that opinion, and I don't know, it, it makes more sense. Because of the way that Pokemon Sun and Moon is structured, it makes it more seem like this is just going to be the typical friend visit, which we've seen in Pokemon before. It's, it's what we'd expect. It's just that when it's Brock and Misty, and when they're coming in with Mega Evolutions, yes, Brock and Misty are coming with Mega Evolutions. Misty has a Mega Gyarados, and Brock has a Mega Steelix. And I would totally be hyped for that! But because of the way the show is structured, and the way it works, it's just way too full of silly antics. And I know that Brock and Misty have their silly sides, but they also have their development, and their, and their more serious sides that I want to see. Growing up, I never got tired of Brock's crazy antics of going after women and Misty pulling the ear. It's, it's, a, it's a tradition. And in the trailer we got, we saw it. I'm so glad of that. But besides that, we saw nothing really else. We saw even more silliness. But Pokemon isn't all just about comedy. It has serious moments. And yes, I know that Sun and Moon has had some serious moments. But the thing is, <sighs> they're just too few. Another thing that concerns me is the fact that maybe Pokemon is going a little too nostalgic. I mean, look at what they're wearing. Yeah, they could be, but it's like, does that really show progression in the characters that they're wearing the same clothes we first saw them in? Last time we saw Brock, he wanted to be a Pokemon doctor. Is he doing anything about that? I think the things that make me most excited is the fact I hope we get to learn of what they were doing these past couple of years that we haven't seen them. I want to see about Brock's progression of becoming a Pokemon doctor. Is he one already, or did he give up and become a gym leader again, or something like that? That's what the show is hinting. And with Misty, the sad truth is, we already got the end of her character progression when we said goodbye to her. Like, she's the gym leader of Cerulean City. That's really it. If the show is able to give her some more character development, I'd really appreciate it. Maybe the fact that they have Mega Evolution has some relevance to that, but until I actually see it, I'm just not going to believe that will be the case. Another concern I have is just the fact that now we know from this recent trailer that the classmates are coming too. And from the trailer that I saw, yeah, we're going to focus on their reactions of Kanto, which will be interesting, but at the same time, it's not the time that we need. If Ash was going home by himself for a school project, I feel like that would have given us more time to see him reconnecting with more of his Pokemon besides just Bulbasaur. And then also seeing other characters that we saw in the past, not just Misty and Brock and his mom and Professor Oak, but also Tracy and Gary and some other people that maybe we haven't seen that could surprise us. But I'm being way too negative on this. I do have some positives that I'm looking forward to. Even though I give a lot of hate to Pokemon Sun and Moon the anime, I will say that the animation when it comes to battling is amazing. It might not be X, Y, and Z amazing, but it's amazing to the point that every time there's a battle, which is few, I must be honest, it's always riveting and beautiful to look at. So the battle that Ash is gonna have with Brock and Misty, I know for a fact, or I'm hoping for a fact, it's gonna be epic. Just as long as Ash uses his older Pokemon for the battle, because these are Mega Pokemon. I get it, you want to show the power of Z-moves and such, and that's great and dandy and fine, but you have Pikachu, you have Lycanroc, Dusk, okay, fine, put the others to the side and bring back some of the ones that we want. I'm talking about Charizard, Infernape, Sceptile, Grin... Oh, right, Grinning's is not around anymore. <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of other Poketubers' opinions of this and what they're hoping, and one thing that I listened to when I was listening to KG Prestige's stream, by the way, great guy, make sure to follow him on his channel, he's nice, yeah. He and his friends were talking about the idea that maybe because of the fact that we have the sprites of Brock and Misty, there's a possibility that they can come back for other episodes. The idea that is actually pretty exciting. Maybe they can have a part in the story, I wouldn't mind that. For what? little story 
Sun and Moon has. Okay, again, I said the anime. One more thing that I feel like I should say, this is just a little hope that I have, but how great would it be if Ash could actually bring one of the, his uh, Kanto Pokemon back to Sun and Moon? Maybe to... I doubt it. It's The time has passed and I don't think they're going to bring it. Maybe, I don't know. The fact that Mega Evolution is not exactly really relevant in the Pokemon Sun and Moon games, but in Ultra Sun and Moon, maybe we could have... Uh, 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 Mega Evolution's back. There are rumors that there's gonna be a Mega Gudra, but again, those are just rumors. I'm not entirely sure. All I'm saying is that I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to bring back some of Ash's Pokemon and make them relevant again into the series. Maybe a Pokemon that he hasn't trained enough with, or a Pokemon that deserves something, whether it's a Mega Evolution or a Z move or something in that sort but i just feel like it'd be a missed opportunity if you don't show all of ash's pokemon and at least bring only one of them back to alola with them it just makes too much sense all in all i'm excited to see what happens in the next couple of episodes but at the same time i'm going in there with caution now if only the people of pokemon could bring back serena that would be great or at least ash griffin <laughs> So what do you guys think about Pokemon Sun and Moon and the fact that Missy and Brock are coming back? Are you excited to see the return of the triumphant trio of Pokemon and see all their adventures together for these next couple of episodes? Or is this just the Pokemon Company's response to the lack of them in the movie and they're just playing to nostalgia because they know that the anime is not exactly in the place they want it to be. I'd love to talk to you guys about it, so make sure to comment down below. And don't forget, I'll be doing a Pokemon Sun and Moon Battle Ready Salazzle giveaway. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to enter for a chance to win that. Speaking of Pokemon giveaways, yes, I heard you guys on Twitter. When Marshadow comes out, yes, I will also be doing a Pokemon giveaway for the Marshadow event that will be coming later this year. And if you still like winning prizes from me and my team, make sure to follow us on our Twitter and Instagram over at the Media Nut or at Random Ramblings Productions or on Twitter at the Media Nut and at the True Ramblers. Basically, we are planning a lot of conventions coming up, including Anime EY, Florida Animate or Animate Florida, yeah, Anime Florida. Team Minicon and Hero Hype Gaming Expo where we'll be having our Media Mash game over there. In those conventions we will be hosting our Media Mash panels and if you guys know anything about Media Mash, you know that those are games where you can win lots of prizes for fighting for your favorite fandoms. So make sure to follow us and check those out and hopefully we'll see you at these conventions. But with that, hopefully you guys like this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It's because of you guys that I do these videos and I'm always happy to do them and I have so much fun and I love sharing my passions with you guys. That's what I live for and that's what Random Ramblings is all about. To talk about your passions with others and to be yourself. But once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll make sure to catch you guys later. See ya!